North Korean official calls Mike Pence stupid as Trump Kim summit remains in doubt. A top North Korean official launched a blistering verbal assault on Vice President Mike Pence on Thursday, calling him ignorant and stupid as a planned summit next month between President Trump and the North's leader, Kim Jong-un, remains in doubt. North Korean Vice Foreign Affairs Minister Cho sun hoo was quoted making the remarks by the North's official Korean Central News Agency, KCNA, after Pence said North Korea could end up like Libya if it doesn't make a deal with Washington. As a person involved in U.S. affairs, I cannot suppress my surprise at such ignorant and stupid remarks gushing from the mouth of the U.S. Vice President, Cho said, according to KCNA. Pence compared North Korea to Libya in an interview with Fox News on Monday. There was some talk about the Libyan model last week, and you know, as the president made clear, this will only end like the Libyan model ended if Kim Jong-un doesn't make a deal, Pence said in the interview. When told his statement could be interpreted as a threat, he said, well, I think it's more of a fact. Libyan dictator Muammar Gaddafi gave up his nuclear program in a deal with the U.S. and Britain in the early 2000s, but was overthrown and brutally killed by Washington-backed trebles in 2011. Pyongyang has threatened to reconsider the summit if the Trump administration pressures North Korea to unilaterally abandon its nuclear weapons. The North said Thursday that a nuclear showdown with the U.S. could once again be possible reverting to Pyongyang's rhetoric before their recent moves toward diplomacy. More, North Korea prepares to dismantle nuclear test site more, Japan's foreign minister seeks U.S. help on abductees in North Korea We will neither beg the U.S. for dialogue nor take the trouble to persuade them if they do not want to sit together with us, Cho said, KCNA reported. Whether the U.S. will meet us at a meeting room or encounter us at nuclear to nuclear showdown is entirely dependent upon the decision and behavior of the United States, she added. The outburst at Pence came after National Security Advisor John Bolton angered Pyongyang when he also compared North Korea with Libya. One thing that Libya did that led us to overcome our skepticism was that they allowed American and British observers into all their nuclear related sites. So it wasn't a question of relying on international mechanisms. We saw them in ways we had never seen before, Bolton told CBS News on Sunday. Trump cast new uncertainty Tuesday on the planned summit with Kim, saying the date could slide back on the calendar, or it may not happen at all. More, Trump nearing decision point on North Korea, we will know next week, he says more, Trump North Korea summit. Details get more complicated by the day there's a chance. There's a very substantial chance. It won't work out, Trump said as he met with South Korean President Moon Jae-in at the White House Tuesday. You never know about deals, he said. I've made a lot of deals. You never really know. We will know next week about Singapore, he told reporters at the White House before leaving for New York on Wednesday. Trump's comments came after an April 27 inter-Korean summit between Moon and Kim which ended in a joint declaration seeking a peace treaty and complete denuclearization of the Korean peninsula. North Korea is expected to dismantle its Pungaira nuclear test site over the next few days in a move toward denuclearization.